I clicked on the link and I kind of missed what you were saying because I had like a question. I don't know if there's a some. I don't know if I can like talk about Darwinism. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. We, we, so Darwinism <laughs> essentially, I, I need to like bring something up really quick. So the question that I have right is, you probably know from reading comments that you have a lot of people who think they know what they're talking about, right? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> there was this person that he was kind of. Um, wait one sec. So he was basically like arguing, um, you know, the video that brother uh, Zishan uploaded, right? Yeah. The whole, yeah, exactly. So he was kind of like arguing uh, in the comments. And uh, wait. So he was basically saying that, you know, how these transitional fossils, right? He, he was naming the transitional fossils and then saying how, you know, it's very evident that this happened, blah, blah, blah. And I had I didn't have an answer to that, essentially. <laughs> so mm -hmm. he was saying that, you know, if if you deny like, that this uh, evolved to, to the, from this to this, blah, 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 then essentially somehow you're going against, you know, paleontology, anatomy, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a very good question, actually, and it's one that comes up often. Um, all you simply need to do is mm -hmm. ask them, fair enough, you're giving us one fossil and you're giving us another fossil. What's the evidence that natural selection led this to that? The fossil yeah. is not going to be telling you that information. So what is your uh, evidence that this fossil transitioned into this fossil through blind uh, uh, variations being worked on by natural selection? And at that point, usually what happens is they don't understand the question. They actually don't understand the question. And then, uh, well, most of them, by that time, they, they realize, okay, so that argument didn't work. But the ones who will try and continue, they'll try and continue from a point of view of trying to say, well, it's not natural selection is kind of irrelevant. The mechanism is kind of irrelevant. The mm. history is more important. So they'll go to homology. But then, then again, you can go to homology being the assumption of uh, genetic or or, uh, or an anatomical similarities. As an assumption, is fine. But if you're going to say it's actually a conclusion, it's going to be an, it's going to end up being a circular argument. So mm. the easiest thing to do is simply to throw it back at them and say to them, What's the evidence for? It? In fact, it's a really funny video. Inshallah, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be making a response to it on my channel. I'm just a little bit worried about the the, mm. the copyright issue on it. It's basically where BBC took a bunch of uh, creationists from UK and took them to America, mm. and they made them meet uh, you know these these biologists and anthropologists and paleontologists and whatnot. And, you know, all of them were basically from a Christian background, but then there was one of these Somali Akhis, yeah? So he turns up in the thobe, he's there, and, you know, when it comes for prayer time, he's like, okay, I'm going to go off to pray. He's just like a traditional Akhi, yeah? And yeah. the guy's banging on about fossils and this and that, and all the rest of the creationists, they're sitting there, and they have no idea how to answer this guy. He literally yeah. turns around and says to the guy, I, I think his, t his name's uh, Timothy White, some, some paleontologist, yeah. says to him, what's the evidence? You've shown us all these fossils. What's the evidence that this led to this using natural selection? Automatically, yeah. the guy, Tim, you could tell he had no idea how to answer that question. And he tried to just, you know, use certain terms and, and just try and hoodwink uh, the, the Somali brother. Yeah. But it didn't work. And that was, that was classic. I loved it because... Amongst all of them, all of the all of the people on that show is only the Muslim who actually asked the right question. All the rest of them were getting bamboozled by all this information. They didn't know how to actually respond. So I think the interesting thing is, I actually I was watching you. Uh, the you know, like when Sapiens Institute, you had like this webinar when you were talking mm -hmm. about evolution. I think I actually like probably like twenty minutes ago, I, I listened to exactly that. Mm -hmm. And um, the th the thing is, like, so essentially. When someone brings something up like fossils and whatever, whatever not, then that the only answer someone has to give to that is, well, how do you know that that actually happened due to natural selection? Because if that's so, essentially, if natural selection breaks down, anything else that you like derive through that actually also falls apart. Exactly, and, and a oh. very simple way of putting it is: before Darwin, we had fossils. Fossils aren't mm -hmm. like, oh, we just discovered them like yesterday. No, fossils have existed mm -hmm. for a long time. Darwin's the one who came up and said, actually, everything is linked to each other and the mechanism of natural selection. So when you when you question the mechanism and they have to provide evidence on the mechanism, mm. you've moved the conversation away 
from uh, just similarities. Because if it's just about similarities, things are similar. Let's not even have a debate. We all know things are similar. Carl Linnaeus, uh, uh, he put up uh, the classification system, which we still use today. He existed about uh, in the 1700s, right? So we're talking about like at yeah. least 100 years before Darwin. He was a creationist, but he he classified life in terms of things that were similar. So he puts humans with chimpanzees and you know this type of thing. He makes this entire Linnaean classification. Yeah. To this day, we use the Linnaean classification. Although Carl Linnaeus himself was a creationist and he didn't believe these things went back to a tree yeah. of life. So things being similar and being categorized by being similar, wh whether it's uh, genetic or anatomical, is not new. <laughs> mm. it, it, you know, it, it, the Darwinists try and say this as if they've discovered something really amazing. When you pick up the origin of species, you see Darwin's main argument is about natural selection. It's not mm. like, oh, things are similar. Well, we knew things were similar anyway. So the upshot is Darwin's theory is not theory of similarity. It's a theory of transformation through mm. natural selection, and that's what they need to provide evidence for. Yeah, yeah that was actually really helpful. Um, you know, I, I really don't like mind to. Uh, I don't like want to you know waste any time or anything. But um, I was just trying to understand that, like you, you quoted at times uh, Henry Gee, right? I'm not sure what he is. He like um, the senior He's editor. Senior editor of Nature. Yeah. yeah. So I, I want to like just understand one of his quotes, and that is that. You, I, it was like a debate. I watched your debate like it was like three years ago, or something where you quoted him saying that to take like a line of fossils, right, and then claim ancestry is actually as valid as telling, you know, as scientifically as valid as a bedtime story. Yeah. And at essentially, what I want to understand by that is when I like quoted him, this person, and you know, when when it comes to he was like bombarding me with questions. To be honest, <laughs> you know, questions I can't answer obviously because I have no knowledge on this topic. Maybe I'll come on on like another time ask them, but he kind of was saying that I, I was taking his quote out of context and he's just talking about direct ancestry rather than general ancestry. So okay. I don't know if that's true. So do you know what you could do? Anytime someone challenges a quote, and they do that a lot, they, they say, someone can say the sky is blue and the other person says, well, you're saying the person's out of context. Mm. What I would do in that case is drop the quote completely, any quote, and just stick to the point. And the point is, fine, you've got this fossil, where's natural selection in this? Which is exactly what the Somali brother did. Yeah. Mm. We can argue about you've taken this quote out of context, you've taken that thing out of context. And the funny thing is that when you actually show them the context, it gets worse. Mm. So in my debate with Aaron Ra, he claimed a book that he hadn't read that I was taking things out of context. And when I read mm. it in context, it actually got worse for him. Because <laughs> yeah. he said the word genetics is not going to be there, but it was there. So mm. sometimes when these quotes, when you start getting these uh, into this mudslinging match of you've taken it out of context, you're taking it out of context, the easiest thing to do is to simply step back and go to concept. Ignore all the quotes. Yeah. Mm. Um, and yeah, that, that's how I would uh, address it. Um, so just like Bosnian Muslim. Yeah, uh, to just end, I just want to say, like, I apologize for you know, speaking a lot about evolution. It's just, no, 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 I, it's I just really like, I don't understand in the people like, you know, it's, I realize, you know, debating with people, it's when you don't have knowledge, it gets very like counterproductive, right? Because they kind of make mm -hmm. you doubt and stuff. And I'm just trying to, you know, I guess, step by step, understand everything. And yeah, so, you know, may Allah bless uh, both your brothers and your families mm -hmm. and take care, inshallah.